Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about how to optimize Google Guaranteed Ads, also known as local service ads. If you are a small local service business owner that set up these uh, local service ads, you need to learn how to, to manage and optimize them to get more customers, more traffic, and more ROI from these ads. Uh, if you haven't yet, check out my previous video. Uh, we'll show about how to set up a Google local service ads account. And in this video, we'll talk about how to optimize those ads to get better results. And if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button and follow us on social, turn on the bell for post notifications. Uh, like I said, my name is Mac Frederick, founder of Momentum Digital. And every week, you know, I drop some videos on YouTube talking about how to grow online, how to optimize your search results and your digital presence. Uh, if you ever need help with digital marketing, let us know, contact details are below. But let's get into the video. So I'll minimize my screen and we're gonna talk about how to optimize these Google guaranteed ads. Uh, I'm gonna use an example of one of our clients here, a roofing contractor in Philly, a friend of mine. Uh, his business name is Garrison Roofing and you'll notice uh, we wanna focus on the local service ads and you know we're getting him to rank higher locally, but he's not showing up in the top three results here if you go to and people don't really go past those those first three results so if you go to more roofers you can see he's ranked like seventh or eighth here garrison roofing um, and this is a local service ads but you really want to be in the top three so here's some tips and tricks to do so first thing let's start with your business verification um, you're just going to go to ads.google.com forward slash local services make sure you're logged into your google account uh, once you're set up and approved for uh, Google guaranteed ads, um, certain businesses will need to upload certain things like a license, insurance, background check, uh, link your re reviews from Google, set up a budget and billing. Uh, we've got all that set up, but I wanna talk about reviews for a second. So the Google guaranteed ads are gonna connect your business account, but they also want you to get reviews directly from Google local services. And so you can cu um, customize a review link and share this with customers via text or email. Uh, typically, it's better to share it with customers that came from Google uh, ads and local service ads. So make sure to get those reviews. They'll show up in your profile and it's going to show as a signal to Google that you're more active with your clients and customers and getting good reviews to rank above your competition. Next, you're going to want to go to your profile and optimize your profile. Now, there's certain things you can do here. This is pretty much the main area that you can optimize for Google guaranteed ads. Uh, so there's a few things that you wanna do within this section. Uh, so go to your profile. Um, at the top here, you want to make sure to add service updates. So you can only choose a certain amount of these. Um, so go through here um, and you, you know, I think you can choose up to six of them, but let's try to choose seven. Um, all right, so let's choose these things here. Hit save, you might be able to choose all of them, but only choose the ones that are relevant. Make sure your ad is turned on and choose a business status as taking customers and make sure your business hours are relative here. If you choose 24 seven, 24 hours a day, you'll get you know, more calls, leads, and customers, but you need to be responsive and active, responding to them and taking calls, whether you get it at midnight, 5 a.m., or whatever the case might be, so you can update those business hours to 24 seven. Otherwise, leave them here. Uh, if you're more available, you'll get more calls and customers. Uh, next, you're going to want to update your bidding and budget. I would recommend setting your budget higher than what you're willing to spend, and if you end up spending more money, you can always scale back and lower that budget. And the other thing you can do is change your bidding mode. So our customer wants to spend around 1000 a week, but we have it set to 2500 And for the bidding mode, you want to let Google set the right bid um, if you are fully optimized with Google Local Service Ads. If you're not fully optimized, manually set a max bid so that you're paying more than you probably should, but you're getting more leads, calls, and customers. Um, 
<clears throat> also check on your um, your industry services. Um, make sure you have all the ones checked that you actually offer. Um, don't offer anything that you don't provide. Uh, turn on messaging leads so people can actually message you, whether it's from desktop or mobile, uh, to get a quote or to learn more about those services. You'll get those via your uh, email inbox. And then for photos, you want to add as many photos as possible. This is something we need to optimize for them. So you can have a cover photo, logo, photos of projects, uh, workplace photos, equipment and vehicle photos, and team photos. Um, last but not least, we'll go to service areas. You can choose the areas that you work in, whether it's a town, a zip code, or a county. And you can exclude areas as well, whether it's maybe like a low income neighborhood or too high of an income neighborhood or somewhere you don't want to travel, you can exclude those here. And then you have scheduling. So if you have any of these integrations, you can use them and connect those such as Job or Service Titan. Last but not least, we're gonna to go to the most important section after the optimization is the management. Um, so this is where you actually wanna manage your lead center and this needs to be done pretty much on a daily basis. Uh, you'll be notified whenever you get these calls that it's from local service ads and you'll have these active ads in here or active leads and new leads and you want to clear these inboxes by either booking completing or archiving these so for example uh, we got a call today you can go in here and review the call It's a missed call so call them back it gives you the number you can mark them as booked or archive it you can also add their name and some notes here um, you know, if it wasn't a good lead and you talk to them, then what you could do is, you know, add name, not interested. You can even show the recording right here. And if it was a good call. Good afternoon, Garrison Roof. And not interested. And then you can archive it. So archiving it moves it to the archived section which means you're being more active and present within this system of managing your leads so that Google knows, hey, they're actively managing their profile and their lead center and communicating with customers, so let's give them more business. This is all very important. Um, obviously, you can see your reviews here and you can see the reporting dashboard as well uh, just by clicking into the reviews and review summary and the reports and the report summary, but really, Review your business verification, get that Google local service review link, go to uh, your profile section and edit your profile budget, bidding, hours, details, and then go to your lead section and manage the lead center. Um, that's really about it. Um, you know, this video is talking specifically about optimizing and managing your Google guaranteed ads. I hope this was helpful. If not, don't leave me a thumbs down, but if you liked it, please leave that thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. Um, I, I make these videos to be helpful and useful to you as a small local business owner. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, share this, leave a comment or question below. Follow me on social media. My name's Mac with Momentum Digital. If you need help with digital marketing, links below are good to search for Momentum Digital. Give us a call or email, lead form, whatever. I'll get back to you right, uh, right away and uh, we're here and happy to help. So I appreciate it and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.